Jessica's going to talk about feeding cues and really being able to read when your baby's hungry and the best time to feed them, and it may be earlier than you think. Yeah. So a lot of times I ask a group of uh, pregnant moms, so when are when you know when to feed your baby, yeah. and what's the what's the answer sometimes? When they're crying. When they're crying, yeah. right? Oh, well, obvious right. sign that right. the baby's hungry, yeah. needs to be fed. Um, and actually what we know is that crying is a signal of distress. Yeah. And if it's a feeding cue, which often it is, uh, it's a very late feeding cue. It yeah. means that all the cues before that the baby had been giving you were missed. And mainly they're missed because parents just don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so I think it's important to know that there are two, two states of infant sleep, mm -hmm. actually. They go, okay. go back and forth. And one is a deep sleep, and that's when the baby is completely relaxed. The face doesn't move at all. You lift the little hand up and drop it. It's like you it's know, a good sleep. Yes, it's very, very um, calm mm -hmm. and and unrousable. It's yeah. not a good time to feed the baby. Right. But the baby will come out of that deep sleep and begin to just flutter her eyelids and might begin to just move her face around, her head around, might begin to move her arms a little bit. And this sort of light sleep is the optimal time to begin the feeding process. Yeah, Breast or bottle, actually. Yeah, it's right? a process. Yeah, totally. And, um, and, and most parents don't know that. Yeah. And they wait yeah. for that to pass until she gets into active alert, where she starts eating her hands and starts looking around. That's a later cue. Okay. And really, you want to, if you yeah. miss the early one, you want to catch yeah. it there. And if, if it progresses beyond that, she's going to go into high alert distress and cry. Yeah. And that's when you want to calm the baby first, and then you would go to feed her. Because I don't know about you, but if someone tried to like pour coffee down my throat while I was crying, it yeah, would yeah, right. And you're so, so hungry, you're like get the food in, but I'm so exactly. mad. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so you know, the good thing about catching them in that light sleep state, or yeah. even in the sort of uh, active alert, yeah, is that the feeding is going to be more calm. Right. They're going to transfer for more milk, yeah. um, and there's not going to be a lot of uh, distress and anxiety on either the baby or the mom. Right. Part. Because when the baby's screaming and you're having a hard time latching then the mom's anxiety rises and you start sweating yeah. so I've been there yeah. really. <laughs> you know that one well so that makes a lot of sense so thank you I think that's yeah. really helpful and keep baby close so yeah. you catch those early yeah early cues. yeah right